Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an amazing tutorial lined up for you. We're going to walk you through the process of creating an SSH SSL TLS server payload and setting it up on the SSH custom app. This setup will help you achieve faster speeds and a more secure web connection. If you're new here, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends who might find it useful. Now, let's get started. First, open your web browser and in the search bar, type UDP Custom and hit Enter. Look for the official UDP Custom website in the search results and click on it. This is where we'll be creating our SSH SSL server. Once you're on the UDP Custom homepage, find the menu button, usually located in the top corner. Click on it and a list of options will appear. From that menu, click on SSH to proceed. After selecting it, you'll be redirected to the account creation page. Here, simply enter a unique username, a secure password, complete the CAPTCHA. Then, click Create Now to generate your server. Wait for about 10 seconds and your SSH server details will be displayed. Now, click the Copy Server Info button to save your credentials. Paste them into your device's notes for later use. Now, let's move on to configuring the SSH server on SSH Custom. First, make sure you have the latest version of the SSH Custom app installed. Go to the Play Store on your device, search for SSH Custom, download and install it if you haven't already. Once installed, open the app to access the home screen. Now, follow these steps to create your custom SSH server profile. 1. Click the hamburger menu in the top left corner. 2. Select Profiles to create a new profile. 3. A new page will open. At the top, enter a profile name, e.g. SSH SSL. 4. Paste your host, username, and password in the required fields. If you also want to add a slow DNS server, you can check the Use Slow DNS box and enter the required details. However, in this video, we are only setting up SSH, so we'll leave it empty. I'll make another video to explain slow DNS in detail. 5. Once all the SSH server details are added, click Save to store the settings. 6. Go back to the home screen, select your newly created profile, and click the radio button to connect. Within a few seconds, your SSH server will be successfully connected, giving you fast and unlimited internet access. And that's it! You have now set up your SSH SSL TLS server payload using SSH Custom. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want a detailed video on slow DNS.